किसी और दिन इंडिया गेट चलते हैं लाइक यू आर स्टार्टिंग बाय सेइंग इट्स ब्लडी हॉट टुडे इंडिया गेट चलते हैं चुस्की चुस्की अरे वी आल्सो हैव टू कम बैक एंड लाइक फिनिश वर्क एनीवे सो द द मोस्ट कंसिस्टेंट एंड बेस्ट लुकिंग ऑटो टीम इज बैक स्टैंडिंग ऑन द साइड ऑफ द रोड वेटिंग फॉर द अदर एंड अनलाइक द लास्ट दैट्स द स्टोरी ऑफ आवर लाइव्स अनलाइक द लास्ट पॉडकास्ट we have uh, the fourth member today has more hair on his head because it's not pritham yes. it's hello pratik like actually uh, have you noticed that in our team we have a lot slightly more hairier <laughs> firstly bad grammar secondly her suit her suit don't want to think about that okay. <laughs> um you uh, are the uh, i think we are the one team which also we all use our middle names no so, i don't no not all like You're the odd one out. He uses, you use. I I don't normally use it. Just on the mail that it shows up. Pratik Prasad Rukshan. Yeah, I norm I normally don't use. My okay, so I just take that back then. Let's pretend <laughs> like I didn't say that. <laughs> so much for that. Anyway, um, yeah. So busy week, and busy last uh, of weeks too. Uh, it's been crazy week. actually. Yes. So lots going on, and uh, so lots to talk about. You just came back from Dubai. Dubai. Did you meet Shahrukh Khan there? Did he welcome yeah. you? Salman, Shahrukh, all of them. No, silly. Did you see the ad, like the <laughs> new 30 crore ad? Anyway. But uh, the most hectic uh, trip I've ever been to. Salman Khan is in Jodhpur. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he welcomes people to Jodhpur. Okay, that done. Yes, tell me. Uh, the most hectic trip I've ever, ever, ever had as an automotive journalist. Probably also the nicest. Was it that traumatic that you uh, almost skipped the light there? Anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but it was worth it because I drove skipping the light finally aaj i uh, i can't use that term what i want to use i am going to use it anyway we'll, maybe we'll mute it out i popped my ferrari virginity <laughs> Oh, Shut up! Not, Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Why did I think it was not the first one? It was, oh, I would have made a I much have, bigger deal oh, of it then. I have never uh, driven a Ferrari. I have been in sense. dozens and dozens of them, and I've never driven. That's bizarre. That's a nice cherry to pop on. <laughs> That's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> uh, that too in Dubai. Yeah. Uh, and it was red. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It was right. It was. It was. Red. Red. I insisted yeah. on the red one. Yeah. They gave me the grey. I said no. So the Portofino is, of course, the California 2.0. Tell us, tell us about your drive. Um, We don't want to know about your popping. Just tell us about the drive. <laughs> I prefer front-engine cars. I prefer usable sports cars, super cars, whatever. Uh, this thing is unbelievably comfortable. And Mr. Hunky Man is at it. Anyway, so this uh, the Ferrari Portofino is. Uh, I'm very distracted by what you just said. Very, actually, so. very. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That it was your first one. I thought like what is he doing? it was I, the second one. So then, that's a big deal, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it is. It is. It is definitely for me. I now have to get a one to eighteen scale model of that car in multiple variations. So for the benefit now, you know why. Do you say this? Yeah. Approximately how many scale models would you have? In one to eighteen scale, three hundred. No, like total. Overall, or well over fifteen hundred. Wow. Just. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, getting back to the car. It is. Uh, it is. I, in my opinion, it is today the prettiest production car available in series production. Uh, some people will argue that it's the F-type coupe, uh, coupe, and some people will argue that it's the Aston DB11. Some people will argue that maybe your opinion doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, but Please I continue. Don't, I don't find the DB11 very appealing anymore. The Vanquish, well, yes. Well, I'm not with you on that, so. On so thinking that the Portofino is the prettiest production ah, car today. So exactly, I I thought it was, uh, especially. Now you're biased. Down <laughs> Your first bit. one's always special. <laughs> a little bit biased. Nothing will ever live up to it now, Cyrus. No, probably I'm I'm guessing. I'm the, I'm sure there are Ferraris in the future, which are going to be nice. I don't know. Have you driven one, Kingshot? No, sir. I'm yet to pop, pop my that, Ferrari yeah. cherry. 
Shen, you know, this is what's going to stick now in this conversation. Okay, let's not de- let's not dilly dally on this. So, uh, when's it coming here? Uh, by this year, end of this year for sure. Mm. Uh, three three and a half crore rupee price tag, which puts it definitely above the other stuff that it goes up against, like the F Type or Maserati Grand Cabrio. But there's a new Maserati Grand Grand Cabrio. Also. Okay, now don't digress. Um, that was that. Then of course we had the Yaris Drive. We had the Amaze Drive. Speaking of more realistic things, yeah. Um, unrealistic, of course, was the i8 Roadster, which I drove. Um, Kushan drove the Mini for us, the updated. And there's ridiculous amounts of customizing possible on a Mini now, which is uh, the new tail lamps. Yeah, I mean that's part of it. And no, you can get your name. No, you can get your name on the. Engraved. Sorry. Engraved on the plaque. Yeah, and uh, even on the side sills and stuff. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, but then you when you sell it, you have to find another sedan on another size as well. You should not buy it. I would rather get like. John yeah, Brooks. I think unfortunately you'll find another sedan, but I'm not sure about the rest of you. <laughs> it's the mo- most common name in this car. Um, no, but it's a cool idea yeah. to be able to customize to that extent and to that level. And oh, the Union you. Jack tail lights look really cool. I have to say. But I missed that drive, so thankfully at least Kushan drove the car for us. But um, what else happened this week? There were other drives. Oh yeah, sticking to high end, of course the Urus. Uh, huge, huge development from a... That guy's gonna hit the other car. Okay. That car looks like he's already been hit by other cars. Yeah, um, yeah so the Urus just takes physics into a different realm, which is crazy. Um, but um, what else? What else have we done this week? And we have to plug the video because the video is really good and it's 16 minutes long. It's probably the, it, it is actually Our longest the video? longest and most comprehensive uh, Urus review today on the internet. Uh, with the exception of the guys who have a GoPro in front of their hands. That's not comprehensive then. Uh, no, uh, not as well edited as ours. Yeah, I think ours is well edited. But, Please watch uh, it. Yes, yeah. okay. <laughs> on road, off road, on track, everything covered. And that's the great thing about that car, that it does all three, and it does it uh, in a fairly respectable manner, unlike some of the others who claim to do certain things, but... Yes, let's take U-turns from the middle of the road, wonderful. That's Delhi traffic for you. Anyway, I will not get into who was driving. Um, So yeah, great, great experience, and uh, that car, of course, has already sold out here in India too. The allocation for India was uh, already sold out, I think, uh, a day before the launch actually happened, which was in January. And we got the car within a few weeks, I think six weeks of its international unveil. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, there's a lot of interest for the Urus in markets like India, Australia, which traditionally have been very low volume for Lamborghini. But uh, now we'll start shooting up in terms of demand. So, and overall, of course, it doubles Lamborghini's volumes as one car does. So, lots riding on it. If we got the Urus unveil, in India before Dubai did. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. So that's and, saying uh, a lot. That is saying a lot. All right, so that's uh, the car side of things. Uh, bikes. Uh, bikes. Pritam uh, wrote the Suzuki GSX S750 at BIC. So I had a word with him. He's like the. He was really impressed by the bike. You know, the power, the handling, mm. and the way it delivers power is like very. You know, user friendly, rider friendly. So more. So it doesn't than overwhelm you with mm. its you know full power and torque. It's very rider friendly, and uh, you know even like people who are cutting their teeth, uh, cutting their teeth on uh, middle capacity uh, motorcycles, such as the 390 Duke or the any of the 300s. So they can uh, they very find well find this to be the next best yes, upgrade. They can uh, definitely you know buy the GSX S750 as the next motorcycle. Does it have like a an immediate rival? Uh, oh, yes, it right. does, because, and it's a very uh, definitive Z900. rival, the Z900, mm-hmm. the Comfort Street Triple S, and uh, there's one more, I'm forgetting that. Street, Street Triple S, what engine? Uh, Street Triple S, it's a 3-cylinder, 112cc, 112bhp engine, hmm. more or less. Uh, the Z900, 123 no, what's the displacement on that? Uh, Street Triple, 765cc. Ah. So they're really uh, the, right there then? Yes, the GSX S750 749cc, uh, Z900 is 8 some 847cc. Will the Monster 821 also be? Yes, Yeah, exactly. that's the other one, right? And the Monster, the Monster 821 is launching tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Yeah. 
on twitter on first on twitter yes the first All india twitter launch of a of any product motorcycle yes of any product right i don't think any cars have done it either yes so in another thing um <laughs> yeah well uh the um, the ford freestyle was supposed to be a digital launch but it didn't end up happening so they did a traditional press conference what's the feedback on that car in terms of responses i mean Is Ford you said know, anything? It's a great. No, they haven't. No, no. Forget they, what we think of the car. No, like they haven't. They market did, response. Uh, they refused to give us details on how many bookings uh, the cars had. After much prodding and poking, they said, "We'll get back to you. We'll get back to you." Um, but on the website, we haven't had a lot of. Yeah, it didn't do much. Craziness either. Didn't do much. Strange. It was a great car. I mean, that's a good package. Sort of weird, but good prices as good well. Good prices. Good yeah. prices. Ignis is cheaper. Everything else is more expensive in that segment. And it's a more ample car than the Ignis. I haven't driven it, but I'm assuming it is more powerful. You drove it. It is more powerful. Both petrol and diesel is more powerful, but it doesn't have an automatic. Uh, it's got more safety. And that won't change, right? No automatic. Six airbags in the top speed. I'll get to that. Okay. So six airbags, yeah, uh, and traction control for the first okay. time ever in a hatch, you know, mm. small, tiny hatch. So I asked about the automatic, and I said ARPQ. The, the two things that As well. are missing in the, in the freestyle is an automatic, which a lot of people want today. Second thing are daytime running lights. The car doesn't have daytime running lights, which is kind of weird. Which is weird because that slot, that little plastic slot, is perfect for daytime running lights. It's, I think, it's meant to be there. And but the, but it's uh, so, screen and everything on the inside of it. Oh yeah, cool. and it's got Sync 3. It's got that phenomenal screen. It's a smaller one, slightly smaller than the. No, but it's like Sport. the it's like the mid version Eco Sport screen. But that screen is superb. It's all high definition. Great uh, functionality. The the fluidity of that screen is unmatched. It is the best infotainment system on the planet. But it's and interesting, huh? Like, um, what the reaction to that will be? Reaction to Yaris prices? That has been uh, mixed. Isn't mixed surprised. because uh, nobody some... know what. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. I think you're determined to <laughs> attract <laughs> some kind of bad karma you have right now on the road. You don't honk, though. You don't honk at the guy. Which is a very I think it's unlike it's Delhi. And when I say honk, I mean abuse. <laughs> the camera's on. <laughs> yeah, he's like. <laughs> But we can always beep it out. Now. Yeah, we can well, beep it out. Well, you might have to blow it out my face when the when the when the Kreta guy. Kreta, listen, uh, listen. When 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 the ball the goes for a boundary, and certain cricketers are seen mouthing certain things. The commentators have a nice little chuckle, but you know exactly what the guy said, right? Yeah. So yeah, we don't have to. Audio is gone. Yeah, we are covered. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of IPL, uh, next on AMT, what's the reaction? We were talking about the Aries. We'll come back to the Aries. I think the next on AMT came at a very strange time because there was so much else happening in the. Uh, Seems to getting a good reaction though. Yeah. Seems to be. I mean, so a lot of people want that segment of a car with an automatic now, I guess. And their little clever short commercials during the cricket matches are actually quite nice. Yeah, and the Passage Century and. Have they done uh, special editions for all the? <laughs> Uh, I don't think so. No idea about cricket. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, so Yaris prices, we were saying, is a bit of a mixed bag because it depends how you see it. Like the ex Mumbai prices, they look great, but ex Delhi, it doesn't look as great. But it's competitive. It's certainly not thirty-five thousand more than the others, as what we had expected. But I mean, I expected it to be slightly higher in any case. No, but it's kind of neck and neck, which is not what we expected from Toyota. And the, on that car, the multiple airbags and all is all standard, right? The top of the line. Yeah. No, no, no. It's standard. 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 Two airbags, right? In the lower spec. No, no, no. Spec, so it's all no, it's six, it's six, six or something. Six, seven, yeah, I'm and pretty then sure. And the higher spec, you get that little AC thing. Ah, roof. Which is Ambient like lighting. aliens landed somewhere. And, yeah. Um. Ambient lighting as well. Yes. I'm surprised that feature hasn't caught on. Oh, that's a lovely discussion. Seven topic. airbags are standard no. on the Yaris. Okay. This is a lovely topic of discussion. What's the one feature in high-end cars that you want to see filter down all the way through the Alto? Apart from the obvious touchscreen, I believe. Okay, go. Back seat. Um, let's think about it. No, it's not about think about it I types. Have to, you have, have one feature. Yeah, that you obviously thought of the questions. So you're ready with lots of options. One feature that you want or don't want? No, I want. I want. I want it to be standard across all cars. Like right from the right from the, the S the class to the Alto. Oh. Side impact protection. Sips. 
any kind of impact protection if you said all two <laughs> protection My the first one any kind of protection uh, and since we are talking about cherries <laughs> popping and not yeah right exactly it's so apt this conversation is so like on theme on we are to the left no no from here from below the bridge uh yeah so anyway uh, what else what else tell us yours you're dying to tell us just tell us okay i mean that is one that's regulation other, led though i don't think other, it's about filtering down yeah the other one is uh, i would like a decent set of wheels on every car I'm sick of seeing horrible-looking wheels and wheel caps. No, but you have horrible-looking wheels on iron cars also. So yeah, uh, it's not a feature that will trickle down. What else? Basically, you thought of a question and, and your answers are crappy. Ambient lighting. Yeah, ambient lighting is ambient actually. Light. I love ambient uh, lighting. Yeah. It is really cool. Makes the but car look very premium. It has to be done properly because if you do <laughs> LED lights from Kolhapur <laughs> or what is the equivalent of Kolhapur? Karol Bagh. Karol Bagh. Mayapur. And that just looks beep. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Could you say it? Because, uh, but I think it looks nice. I think it sort of makes the car feel a little warm. Also, it's nice. Yeah. Okay. Dash cam should be a standard. Fit. That's not a top end feature that's going to filter down. Dash cam, yeah. I mean, no, but it's going to be standard. Fit. I don't think any of you have good answers. The only. <laughs> I think. Uh, parking cameras. I that's coming in any case. Yeah, sensors. Listen, are sensors. Sensors, sensors are going to become yeah oh. regulation. So. How about 400 horsepower? <laughs> <laughs> that's just like. <laughs> Yeah. Why not? Beep. <laughs> okay. So, uh why did we go there? We were talking about something else. We were talking about the Yaris we pricing. Yes. Always go off track. And 6 airbags is standard. 7 7 7 7. Yeah. So And uh what's happening this week? Now this is all stuff that's happened. A lot of lot of things happening. Do tell. Nice. So, let's <laughs> leave. we can beep that out i think that's the the twigs and the yeah, whatever yeah. branches in anyway. a piece of side oh we have an officially introduced pratik no i said na that he went into the more hairy territory and all that ah. rubbish <laughs> you can you have a nice way of introducing him please do because no okay <laughs> i i just Oh, he's the he's he's, he's uh, popping his right. podcast cherry. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That too without any protection. No, actually they have a lot of protection. Oh god. I have my seat belts uh, on. Seat belts. Yeah, I certainly Air hope you do. <laughs> so I'm belt. Like, and I have signs of me. Yeah. So. No, Not that's why you need your seat belt. That be so. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like <laughs> it's you. You the seat could break and collapse on. I know you have to go up the flyover. No, we have to go there. Where are we going though? No, first can we what else? We lots happening this week. What is happening? So four launches. <laughs> yeah, it's just reversing <laughs> because you know in so Delhi. So on first May we have the Ducati Monster A21 that That's we've one. already said. That's What else? One, yeah. Uh then on May 3rd we have two launches. There's the Mini Countryman second gen. Yes. And the Indian Roadmaster Elite. Yes. And All on the fourth stuff. we have the Mercedes AMG. E63 AMG Formatic Plus. Mercedes wow. AMG E63 Formatic. E63 S. 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 Yes. And there's the launch and the drive as well. Uh, yep. So nothing both international. I can afford. And Cyrus is off to. Nothing any of us can afford. He's right. Oh, and today is the uh, 70th anniversary. Well, not. not the yeah, yeah, it is today. But today is the actual date today. I think it is today. Celebration. It's this week for sure. Land of, Rover. Uh, Land Rover. 70. As a brand, and they are doing They're a doing separate a... India celebration. Yes, which is in cool. Mani Bhajang. Am I getting yeah. that right? Yeah. Uh, which is where you have the highest concentration of Series historic Land, Land Rover models. Series, yeah. So that's something. The tea gardens to... have anything to do with that? The yeah. tea estates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So essentially, this is near Darjeeling. Essentially, what happened is the the Brits. Uh, are you flying through Kolkata for that? No, Bangalore. Oh, straight. Oh, no, straight. So uh, what happened was the Brits had a lot of these. The Brit owners had a lot of these Land Rovers, obviously. And they left them behind. And they left them behind, and they sold it to uh, the taxi guys who are operating in that area, or tea plantation people. So a lot of these cars exist and are still running and are actually in great condition. So they found a whole bunch of them. Who would have thought? And what they're going to be doing is It's driving like... up the hill in or. Uh, either way, driving up or down one of the two. Highest them, per capita Land Rovers. Probably. Like highest per capita Mercedes was somewhere Jalandhar or something, right? Was it? So, yeah, in India. Used in to be. Now I think it's Surat or some such. In and India, no? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the world, it's probably like 
Stuttgart <laughs> <laughs> or Frankfurt actually all the cabs yeah but anyway yeah so now that's interesting and it's yeah, I'm, I'm, I, it's really nice that they found like a good India cars, connect so to I'm celebrate really attracted to older cars so I'm looking forward to it I'm glad you said cars and we <laughs> <laughs> And we drive down in the disco, so it's a it's like a the new disco. Yeah, it's like a then and now, father and son sort of right. piece, which I love doing. I've done a whole bunch of them uh, in the past, and I love comparing same. You guys at the generation. back, uh, have you got some contract where he speaks hundred words and you speak one? <laughs> Why aren't you contributing to this? Pratik, it's his day. It's his day. So no, every day is his day. Yeah, he never <laughs> stops talking. Come on. So speaking about the Indian Roadmaster Elite, so only one unit has been commissioned for India, and uh, Indian will make only 300 units uh, to be sold worldwide. worldwide. And uh, the interesting part is that the Roadmaster Elite, uh, on the fuel tank and the engine covers, it gets uh, 24 karat gold leafing plating motor. So don't already, park you know? it outside. Yeah. No, it's sold already. It's, it's already Calcutta. sold. Exactly. Yeah. Puppy Larry is bought it. Puppy Larry. <laughs> <laughs> it has leaf, gold leaf, not gold chains. Uh, but yeah, 24 karat gold. Leaf. But uh, you know, a couple of months ago, we had that whole story which I thought was just ridiculous about the word Monte Carlo not being allowed for Skoda. Yeah. Yeah. Because Some the term Monte Carlo is, of course, the it. Banyan. No, it's not Banyan, it's sweaters. It's, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Come but on. Yeah. <laughs> Sweater company. Uh, you're and, thinking uh, of things that are Rupa Vanyana. cozy and stuff. Oh, yeah. Anyway. That is Lux. Lux. Mm. I'm trying but, not. But, I'm trying to be discreet, and you're like <laughs> Rupa Lux. What is this? Dollar. But, Probably uh, they can sponsor. The, or the question is. Yeah, we'll, we can get sponsors. Hyundai. Now. Yeah. <laughs> but then we'll have to sit in there. Do it in. If you'd like to sponsor. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole problem. <laughs> Wear it under our shirts, t-shirts, and we'll jeans. Have and you have to keep, you know, yeah, you have to keep yeah. like referring like this. <laughs> under keep under, under keep <laughs> I was just thinking. That. I won't have any under. Yeah, I think it's gonna pop out. <laughs> oh my god! You have a lot of pops happening. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the theme. That's the theme. But anyway, uh, so any sponsor interest, please get in touch with Cyrus. <laughs> Especially Banyan under brand ambassador. Banyan. If they wanna pop the chair in the yeah. auto industry. Yeah. Uh, oh my but, god! Uh, what I was asking was. <laughs> No, he was telling us more about elite. this bike. Yeah, and, and so and who's Hyundai, who's the elite. why are they why are they doing a launch when it's just one and it's already sold? So uh, now this comes from like some of my sources in India. So they are saying another unit of the Roadmaster Elite has been commissioned, uh, specially for the media. So we just might get to. It's for the media. Yes, they have commissioned another unit. Wow, so one has already been sold. Wow, that's very generous. Need to go straight. Yes, so we could. Uh, no, may possibly get our hands on the Roadmaster Elite, and oh. I call dibs on the review. Okay, you heard it here first. <laughs> anyway, the other gentleman who could have called dibs isn't here. So, um, any reaction to the facelift on the XUV? I haven't seen any yet. I have. Yeah. I saw one yesterday. It looks uh, better in the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the rear is much nicer now. But uh, this guy already had buggered it up. Everything that he could yeah. have on it, on it. Including yeah. that horrible guard, yeah. with an XUV in front of us, and he had chrome and he had stickers and it was a brand new top of the line car and he already ruined it, essentially. Full accessory that's how kit. You do things in Delhi, huh? No, that's, that's how you do it everywhere. It's so stupid. I, I don't know. I'm in Bombay. Yeah. It's just Mumbai. Sorry. Oh, now you're gonna get all correct <laughs> after having saying pop, popping cherries and I don't know what all. <laughs> Anyway. But uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, <coughs> it's gonna be a favorite uh, of the white SUV, chrome mirror cap. Owner. But that it always was, so, so that's fine. All right, so I guess we've covered everything. Busy week, lots to look forward to, and uh, please stay with us for all of it. There's the second plug. So watch the Urus video and all the upcoming <laughs> launches also on carandbike.com. Stay left. Don't take the U-turn. Oh, and quickly before uh, yeah. before we go. Should wrap things up. Uh, there's an exclusive on the Mahindra Gen Z that's coming this week on CND. No, it's on last week on CND, but online the first look for the Gen Z will come tomorrow, and the review is gonna uh, come on the YouTube channel on Wednesday. 
Now for all this to make sense, you have to upload this today. No, this. Oh, oh yeah. This. Oh, the first and. Not like the last podcast. You mentioned days. Now you're stuck. First and the second. You're responsible. First and the second. Uh, when's the next gen Brio coming? Brio, as some people from that company like to say. I think it could be another year. New management completely at Honda now, yeah, by the way. Yeah. So it could be interesting to see what happens there. High uh, time. I mean, they need to be some little aggressive. No, they've got so many lovely cars. And, and, uh, we live in hope. Uh, but that should come come to market by next year, really. If you think about it, since the next gen MAs is already out. Um, they showed one at in- Indonesia. But that's again another yeah. drive that we missed out on. Uh, Ameha went and drove that in India. No, we referred to it very quickly, the Amaze, and then we moved on to oh. other things. But we did, we did mention the Amaze. And uh, amazing, amazing. CVT automatic is something that I'm looking for. I'm actually very keen to drive that. Because I've never driven a diesel CVT. Yeah. And that flight is a ridiculously bank tangled. He's trying to get away from you <laughs> really fast. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. So thank you again. Please wear your belts. Any of these seats that you could be in, and uh, helmets again, front or back. I will be a broken record on that. And um, also don't drink and drive. Yeah, very important. Because apparently there's a lot of that starting to happen again in certain cities. There are a lot of reports coming in from the police about increased uh, numbers of people being caught drinking and driving. So I beg you not to do that. Please go easy on the horn. Please. And no underage driving. Are we just going to list everything uh, now? <laughs> but now they, they, they have started booking the parents. Right? I know, so it's, it's a great thing. It's started in Hyderabad. It's yeah, a great it's a thing. thing. 2025 20, parents were like booked. That's always like... Minors were driving. Yep. Cool. Alright. Should we end so, with that? Yeah, I think we ended already. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just like rambling. As we always do. When are we seeing Infinity War? Movie oh, I've board. seen the movie. Oh, you know what a you know we had planned to see it together. I, I Get out mind. of the car. No, I don't. I I saw it in <laughs> I all 3D. I can I watch it in IMAX. Yeah, I, I want to see it. I'll come tonight to see it. Please. Didn't we make that plan? Didn't we? But I didn't watch did it this it. weekend with my friends. Okay, oh. because of that. Oh, neither did I. Fun slap. <laughs> Take him out. You have eject. On Friday because you want to go and see it. Yes. Yeah, we'll we'll censor it. It's already over. <laughs> we can do another podcast. Achana, pull over. So that you guys can take the U-turn. Alrighty, so let's stop this. Bye-bye.